Welcome. Today we will talk about uh, cancer immunotherapy since it's a very hot area of research in treatment of cancers. As all of you know, uh, more recently there have been several uh, new developments and new drugs uh, in cancer immunotherapy. So before we talk about uh, the drugs and uh, treatment, uh, we'll talk about the normal uh, immune mechanisms in our body, and from there we will talk about different uh, mechanisms which are being explored in uh, research and clinical trials, and then I'll talk about certain FDA-approved uh, immunotherapy drugs. So what is immune system? It's a system in our body which recognizes harmful infections and destroys them. In a way, it is our body's defense system. It consists of specialized cells like the cells called lymphocytes, organs like blood and bone marrow, and certain proteins called immunoglobulins or antibodies. How does the cancer cells escape recognition by uh, the normal body's immune system? There are several mechanisms by which the cancer cells make them invisible to uh, normal immune mechanisms. One of which is uh, reduction in certain proteins on the surface of the cancer cells, which makes it really hard for the immune system to detect them. Other system is to express certain proteins on their surface that can then turn off the immune cells. The cancer cells also can induce cells in the surrounding environment, which is called the microenvironment, to release certain substances which suppresses the normal immune responses and then promote tumor cell proliferation and survival. I will next talk about uh, some of the mechanisms uh, which are now being used to uh, stimulate the immune response against cancer cells. Uh, one of the most important area of research is the immune checkpoint modulators. Uh, the checkpoint proteins normally keep immune responses in check by preventing overly intense responses that might damage the normal cells as well as the abnormal cells. But cancer cells use them to suppress normal immune responses in our body. Blocking the activity of immune checkpoint proteins activates the immune system uh, and increases its uh, uh, ability to uh, destroy cancer cells. Uh, there are now several FDA-approved drugs that can use this mechanism to activate the immune system. The first of uh, these checkpoint inhibitor drugs is called ipilimumab or YERVOI, which is used for the treatment of advanced melanoma. It blocks the activity of a checkpoint protein known as CTLA4, which is expressed on the surface of activated immune cells called the cytotoxic T lymphocytes. These are the normal cells. Ipilimumab binds to CTLA4 and prevent it from stopping the immune response. Other drugs are called nivolumab or Abdevo and pembrolizumab or Keytruda, which also uses the same mechanism, but they target a different checkpoint protein on the activated T lymphocytes. These proteins are called PD-1, Normally, the cancer cells carry a protein called PDL1 and PDL2, which binds with the PD1, which is present on the activated T lymphocyte and thereby uh, causes tumor growth and proliferation. The Abdevo and Keytruda uh, disrupts this interaction of uh, PD1 and PDL1 and PDL2 and this in turn activates the immune system. Other form of immunotherapy is called adaptive cell transfer, in which we use patients' own immune cells collected uh, from their blood 
to activate the immune response in the body. The most example, most important example of this class is a newly uh, FDA approved therapy called CAR T cell therapy or CAR therapy. In this form of ab adaptive uh, immunotherapy, patients' own immune cells called the T cells are collected from the blood by a procedure known as apheresis. These T cells are then genetically modified in the laboratory to express a man-made protein on their surface known as a chimeric antigen receptor or CAR. The CARs on the T cells are designed to bind to specific protein on the surface of cancer cells causing the T cells to attack and destroy cancer cells. This process also spurs the production of other T cells in the body capable of targeting cancer cells. After the immune cells are collected and are engineered to express a CAR, they are then grown in the laboratory until there are hundreds of millions of them. When they are ready to be given to the patient, the patients are first admitted to the hospital. They first receive chemotherapy and other drugs that depletes the body of the existing T cells. The entire batch of CAR T cell is then subsequently infused into the body as a single dose. These uh, CAR cell therapies are now FDA approved. There is a treatment called Kimria for children and adolescents with acute lymphoblastic le leukemia, which is, has recurred after standard treatments. And the other CAR cell therapy is for adults with uh, advanced lymphomas, and it's called Yescarta. The other class of immunotherapy are called monoclonal antibodies. These are protein molecules which are designed to attack a very specific target on the cancer cells. The example of the uh, monoclonal antibody is rituxin, which attacks a protein on the surface of certain lymphoma and leukemia cells called CD20. Another class of immunotherapy uh, is called therapeutic antibodies. These are created by chemically linking antib antibodies to a toxic, toxic substance. The antibody allows it to bind to a target molecule that is expressed on the surface of cancer cells, and then the toxic substance uh, gain entry into the cancer cells and kills these cells. Uh, there are several uh, examples of uh, these kinds of drugs which are being FDA approved. Uh, one of the drugs is called Catsila, which is used against certain types of uh, breast cancers. Uh, the other drugs are called at citrus, which is used for Hodgkin's lymphoma, and Zevlin, which is used for adult lymphomas. The next class of immunotherapy are called cancer vaccines. Vaccines are usually made from patients' own tumor cells or from substances which are produced by tumor cells. Uh, early example of tumor vaccine, which is FDA approved, is called ProVench, which is used for certain types of uh, uh, advanced prostate cancers. Thank you very much for watching.